the top of the hill in the Charlie, Oscar, Lima, Oscar, Romeo, Echo, Delta, Field. At the top of the hill in the Charlie, Oscar, Lima, Oscar, Romeo, Echo, Delta, Field. At the top of the hill, in the Charlie, Oscar, Lima, Oscar, Romeo, Echo, Delta, Field. <laughs> Alex, why are you wearing that jacket? It's like Charlie, 75 degrees Oscar, and the sun's out, you know? Lima, and Oscar, I thought you said you were Romeo, gonna go swimming anyway. Echo, Delta. It's cold, that's why. The sun is kinda out, but when you're in the shade, it drops to like 50. No, it doesn't. Hey, Michael, we didn't bring drinks. Did we? I thought we said we'd bring drinks. Wait, Michael? Uh, yeah? What is it? Did I almost step on a crab or something? Y you're dead. I'm dead. I'm dead? I think she's talking about the- Oh, the- the car? No, they don't- Listen, Mom and Dad know. They don't care. Well, I mean, they cared a little, but- No, 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 just listen to me. You will drown. Not here, but at Horn Lake, back at home. You seem really confident. She seems confident. I'm a little nervous. I would be. Relax, Alex. I'm gonna teach you how to swim at the pool in the park. Don't worry about it. Where's- where's Jonas? Jonas? Who's Jonas? Is someone else coming? Yeah, is that a friend of yours? You want to know who Jonas is? He's my new stepbrother, okay? Do you... do you get what's happening now? <laughs> All right. Can you just call your new friend your best friend for my sake? Stepbrother's kind of encroaching on my territory there. Yeah, it's like when my mom calls her cat her special little lady. It's like, I'm standing right here. Today turned out to be... a flawless day. It really did. Yeah, no, it did. It really did. Carissa, doesn't this... Don't you remember... We're all on the island. Nona's there. I love Nona like a three-legged puppy, but she would shrivel up and die in the sun. Oh, yeah? Yeah, she's better off at home, trust me. It's been a spell since we did something, right? I feel like I haven't talked to you in a while. How have you been? What's been going on? How's classes? How's... Truthfully, I've, um... I've... Ah, sorry. I think... Yeah, I... <laughs> I accidentally left my phone on the ferry, because I do things like that. <laughs> oh, God, you idiot. Go get it before it leaves. When I get back, I want to hear an Alex story. <laughs> Can't I just come with you? I'll take two seconds. Think of something to tell me. So... Uh, <laughs> Are you, like, faking it or pretending or something? Pretending? Uh, no, I mean... I meant when I said that this is... This is a great day. I'm having a good time. Um, I'm glad we could all do stuff today. I'm glad you were cool with it, I mean. I know you guys are really close and, like... I know it can be annoying when somebody starts keeping all their time for their girlfriend or whatever. So, I think it would be cool if we could, like, continue to do things together. Clarissa, no, this... this is different. He's my brother. I've known him since I was born. He's not just a friend I'm losing. Yeah, I get that. I get that. And, um, I'm sorry if you feel like you're losing him, because you're not. Michael, uh... 
He loves you, like, a lot. I'm sure you know that, but he talks about you all the time. <laughs> oh, Alex did this, and... Yeah, well, I love him too. I had to fight the skipper for it, but he didn't reckon how many squats I could do. What's it up to, six? Only on burrito days. On non-burrito days, it's like eight. So, apparently, you love me. Is that right? <laughs> well, if I don't, I don't know why I got you that skateboard for your birthday. You skate? Not yet. Oh my god, I forgot about that thing. How could you already forget? I gave it to you like two months ago. <laughs> I'm sure it'll get a lot of use. So, I actually really want a cold something, so I'm gonna run into town and get like a soda. Anybody want anything? Um... Nah, I'm good. No thanks. I'll be back. Okay, I'm here. What's the story? I want the news. I want the Alex first edition. What's going on? Things are bad, actually. Mom and Dad aren't great, and I'm like a hair trigger away from spinning off this planet and Hey, hey, look. First of all, Mom and Dad are... Mom and Dad. They fight a lot, but they're whatever. Everything always blows over. It's gonna be fine. You're too young. We're too young to worry about marital discord. It's not gonna be fine. It's not gonna be fine. I... I know how this goes. I have insider information, let's just call it, okay? Look, just because Janie's parents got a divorce and made poker nights super uncomfortable doesn't mean ours have to too, all right? And look, I know this was supposed to be our day, but I completely forgot I promised Clarissa I'd do something with her, so thanks for chaperoning. I know it's not what you had in mind, so... What do you see in her, really? Okay, here's, okay, Tuesday night, she dragged me to a comedy club for open mic, shoved me on stage, and then proceeded to curse out the entire bar when they didn't laugh at my horrible jokes. And that was a Tuesday, so... That sounds awful. Like, I think I've had stress dreams more relaxing than that. I guess you had to be there then. It's important to me that you like Clarissa, Alex, so tell me the truth. What do you really think of her? You want my unvarnished truth? I think you should dump her. Really? Why's that? Why's that? Because I think she's mean. Because I think she's a bully. Because she likes to get her way. Because I guess that's it. Well, you see her more than I do. She's in your class. You know, I never noticed. That's a good looking jacket. I should ask for it back. I don't like my new one. Feels like I got shoes on my arms or something. No way, bucko. <laughs> bucko? You haven't called me that in years. Alex, are you... All right, are you back with me now? Man, you've been acting like a... I don't even know how to put it, like a bird, just flitting around in circles for ten minutes. I was about to, like, slap you or scream or something. Nona, I, I just saw... I think I just saw my brother Mike. What? How? Where? Here? Is he... I was... It was like those time jumps we're sometimes having, right? This was... It's like we've been having ripples, and this was a wave. I was bumped all the way back to when Michael was still alive. Right now? Turn on the Lima, India, Gulf, Hotel, Tango. For the ships coming home. Turn on the Lima. India. I didn't know Maggie grew up in Maine.
Hey, why aren't you at the tower? This one got a little antsy. Weird stuff was playing on the radio. That voice said I had a mother's laugh. What does that even mean? Anyways... Are we happy? We are happy. We got a new radio that's supposed to open doors and gates in some magical way. Oh, thank God. I was getting nervous that you would have walked all that way and then not found anything. Seeing as how it was my advice to, uh, do the whole thing. How have, um, you two been? What am I working with here? How much leering am I gonna have to put up with? No, I'm glad we can leave. Let's put it that way. Yeah, don't even tiptoe in the vicinity of a joke right now. I just want to get out of here. Well, if the radio's the thing... It doesn't matter without Clarissa. Do I really have to point out that she's not here? Oh, yeah, that's... Look, we got the way in. Let's just do what we meant to do and check to see if the boat works. But not leave yet, right? Listen, if we have the key, which is apparently this radio, then let's just go to the house and see. And if it looks like we can leave that way, then we'll go on a Clarissa hunt. <sighs> All right. I think you're supposed to use the radio to tune into the gate, right, Alex? I guess the radio will open this somehow? Hopefully. Give it a whirl. Please have a boat, please have a boat, please have a boat. Just think happy thoughts. Yeah, happy thoughts. That house is huge. That lady really knew how to live. It's like the Chateau de Adler. There is something up with her. She has this giant house. She's burying like secret messages all over the place. I mean, this is crazy. Yeah, and we can leave it to Scrappy Doo or whoever to figure it out. What's a Scrappy Doo? I guess.
there's something in here. Just looks like vacation slides or something. Huh. Ren, you were right. There's like a ledger here. The Adler family does own the island. And here's a combination for a padlock to a chest is all it says. 29, 18, 54. A chest? Have you seen one yet? Let's just look. It'll probably just be more, whatever, banking files or something, but maybe we'll get lucky. She made a lot of, what should I call these, slides? They're, they're not videos. Um, silent memories? It's like a, it's like a boat that needs keys. There are no oars. And before we go crazy, it's not, it wasn't with Maggie's stuff back at the office, like with the radio? No, we looked through all of her stuff, I think. Huh, well, uh. What's plan B? Keys, they, they have to be in the house for the movers or her family, you know? That's as good a guess as any. It's a radio lock. The woman sure did love for antiquated security. I thought maybe I imagined it was locked, but no. Well, you do have the key right there. It's the radio. Just tune it a little. It'll open like the gate. That is a nifty gizmo. Finally. Carissa, oh, God, Jesus. You scared me. Thought you were like Maggie Adler's dead body or something. Everyone, just keep your distance. What? Why? It's Clarissa. Yes, dear. Why? I'm as harmless as a June bug. Because you could be a ghost right now? That's why. Christ, I think you've been possessed more than you've been you at this point. Well, wait, wait a minute. Don't we, like, get red eyes or something when we get possessed? Yeah. Yes, we do. We get red eyes. Thank you, Reginald. We don't exactly know the rules, guys. Something something could have changed. Might have switched or... Rules? What are you... This isn't soccer. I'm not on the orange team. Nobody is possessed right now. Look, Clarissa's here, so everyone's here now. We can just... Everyone's okay, all right? That's a good thing. Yeah, let's just... Find the keys to the boat, or a phone, or whatever, and just find a way home. I promise, we can all keep talking, and or fighting- Clarissa, you just better hope there's two boats or something, because you're not sitting anywhere close to me. You better hope there's two boats for your giant ego if you think you can dictate the evacuation terms. Okay, haha. -ha. Enough jousting and reposting. Let's carry on. Now, everybody find something and hope that it helps. <sighs> it's been disconnected. Bummer. Man, she owned enough books. It's mostly math, I think. Ergodic thermodynamics and religion. Sheesh, okay, there's a lot of- Okay, we get it. She liked the smell of paper. Fascinating insight. We'll all miss I'm her- I'm not talking to you. I'm just talking out loud. You can only ever talk out loud. Ugh. How are you doing? How are you doing? You know what? Better than friggin' ever. I feel like I've never stopped winning since we landed. Ugh, great. Oh, that's an attic? Thought it was like a cat's toy or something. Wanna come up? Yeah, sure.
Ooh, you know what? This might be the, um, the chest that takes that combination. 29, 18, 54. It's a lot of radios and those containers we saw at the town office. Oh, and like a map of the caverns. She's written here, tune into the source. What do you think that means? She couldn't have known about the ghosts, right? Tune into the source. It, it's probably something about the special radios, you know? Huh. Is this... Ah, the boat keys. Got them. Perfecto. All right, we got keys for the boat. Where? Jonas found them in a chest upstairs, so say thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I was just saying it. It's not directed at you or anything. Okay. aren't you? Well, you should be. How does it go? Things are different, except in a different way. <laughs> Just come downstairs so we can get started. Nona, come on, honey. It's time to motor. Ren, come on. We got a boat to catch, buddy. Jonas, I, I really need you. Don't blank out on me now. Ah, there you are. Now we imagine you're a bit confused. But don't fret. This will be the final part of your training, Alex. All training is supervised by very skilled instructors. Why are you doing this? I thought you... You guys were stuck here, or, or that this... Wasn't you signed up for this, Alexandra? In the caverns, you tuned in to our signal. So please, I cannot bear your excuses, offspring. I'm sorry, okay? How many times do you want me to tell you I'm sorry? I didn't know what would happen. You have nothing to apologize for, trust us on that. The test is easy. We will speak of something we see in the house, and you will go and find it. See? As simple and good humor as your mother. What is it with you guys and all the the games? You're like dogs or children. Just what is the point? The point, dear. The point is that they were never games. And you can figure that out by your lonesome. Now, let's start with a softball. I spy with my little eye. Radiation. There is, of course, a time limit here. So. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five. Once they caught the fish alive. Four. Oh, I'm sorry, child. You weren't even close. Stop it! Come on, no, it's it's my fault. I I don't know. Look at that. The little one. Her back. Now. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. What's done is done, as they say. If you paid attention, you'd have noticed the television set right by my side, the little X-ray emitting death machine. But right now, you'd be wise to think of radiation in another sense. Pay attention. What does this have to do with, with us? I mean, we're, we're... I spy with my little eye a knot. Let's make this a little harder, okay? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Alexandra, what a disappointment you've turned out to be. Don't, just, just stop, please. Don't do anything to him. Oh, your new brother. Gone to first light. Where do they keep going? What are you doing with them? What are we doing with them? That is the question of the night, I guess. It's time for the bonus round, Alex, so stay quick. This is what you really want to find. 
I spy with my little eye a picture of a memory. Be fast now. Five little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mommy duck called quack, quack, quack. But four, three, two. The, the picture of, of, I guess it's Maggie, Adler, and somebody. Is this it? Yes, very nice. That's Margaret Adler and her friend Emma. You see, you and your schoolyard chums are experiencing, well, this has sort of happened before. Maggie and Emma tried to sport with us many years ago, and, well, only one survived. And in the process, we discovered a way for us to return, so to speak. It just takes a little time. And a far-reaching tolerance for the ignorance. Wait, what? What happened to Anna? Let's leave it at the poor girl didn't know what she was playing with. It doesn't matter. They're not an eternal recurrence. The waves. It's the waves, we think. And we will use our waves to absorb into your friends so that sunlight blooms into flowers. And we will grow. And we will engulf. You, you can't do that! Think about what you're doing! We can do that, Alex, and what has seemed to your parents as 80 years has been for us eons to know an existence without life. We tried it too quickly with Anna, but now we know to wait and soak. We had to keep you here on the island. And it will be a great honor, Alex, really, to carry us through this life and on to the next. You, you had your time. You had your time. Don't take ours just because you had some... some accident. We never had our time that was ripped from us. We watched the universe's conception fly to its demise over and over and over again. When our vessel dashed on the rocks, we had until dawn, and so are you. We would spend our time wisely, and we thank you for your good service. So, I'm kind of screwed. Just don't try and influence Michael. He can live his own life. What does this... What does this matter? He's dead. He's not... He's not here.
so we can go on. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be sick. Me first. Uh, it wasn't a dream or a vision or something. You and Clarissa standing in the living room just now, was it? Uh, I wish there was, like, just something here that explained what the crap she was up to. Maggie, forget about it. It's a dead end. Ugh, just so annoying. It's called a diary. Use it. Uh, does anyone buy the whole eternal recurrence thing? Literally? No idea what you're talking about right now. Yeah, what's that again? Is that like reincarnation? It's when... It's the idea that if time is infinite and matter is finite, then everything will eventually repeat in the same exact pattern again and again. I subscribe to whatever snake handlers believe in, so... But does anyone recognize who this is? I think her name's Anna? Nope. Never heard of her. No. Uh, no. Me neither. She was a, a friend of Maggie, I think? I don't know. The, the ghost just pointed her out. Want to see if it'll start? Uh, not really. Be careful, that film's really flammable. Wouldn't want Smoke and Johnny to light the house on fire. Ha ha. All right, there's already something in here. 
Experiments and findings of experienced phenomena, January 52. Awesome. Oh, man. If this turns out to be just prehistoric home videos... Yeah. I'm sure this is just the... Uh, sweet. They're learning. Boo! Okay, all right, we get it. You can, uh, skip this one, Alex. Okay, we're getting warmer, I think. So, if you look at the, like, lines or whatever, the bomb shelter should lead right into the cave, just like from another angle. According to this, at least. Oh, so it does. But won't it be, like, locked or something, right? Yeah, how do we get in? It's just like the cave wall, only steel or whatever bomb shelters are made out of. Oh, what? She knew about these things? Wow, that's crazy. It says that to fix a temporal tear, that's a mouthful, in the cave, we would need to transpose to the other side and tune into the source within itself? Okay, but we're not doing that, right? Good question. Yeah, that's... that's going a little above. Above and beyond. Well, I don't know what to tell you, but strap in, boys and girls, because we might have to, okay? If it's the only thing that will fix us. Yeah, but that's, like, scary. Well, something better work. Or we're boned. Or we're boned. Precisely. Oh, sorry, this is like, this looks like the end, but from the, from the wrong film thing. No, 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 wait. This is something I actually remember from that stupid radio tour thing, because it, like, sounded so weird. It's called the call and response system. It unlocks the bomb shelter. This is showing us how to do it. See? It says, when someone sends an emergency signal from the Capard station in the woods, and the receiving station confirms it. It's like a connected response thing. Brilliant! Really? It's good enough for me. Alex and me will head through the woods, do the, um, call part. You and Ren can hang by the door to the bomb shelter and open it when it's ready. Wait, wait, I, um, I'm sorry, I kind of zoned out there for a second. What are we doing? Ren and Nona are team, um, Soaring Eagle, and you and I are awesome squad. Uh, I want that one. And we're splitting up to work on some old fangled machinery to open the bomb shelter, to get into the cave, to yada yada yada, save our lives or whatever. All right, break. And if anything goes wrong, please, don't tell me, I won't want to know. Well, now I'm going to run over there and specifically tell you at the first drop of bad news. No! 